Hey everybody, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. Tell me in the comments below what real life inspirations got you into the martial arts and what cartoon inspirations got you in the martial arts. For me, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were everything and Michelangelo was my favorite. I didn't much care for Raphael because Michelangelo was cool and a party dude and Raphael was just rude. But as an adult, I love the weapon that Raphael used, which is called the Sai. Most commonly in Chinese, we say Cha. And even though Japanese karate is most famous for using the Sai, it has origins in China, and so it's very much a part of Kung Fu as well. So in today's lesson, let's be inspired by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, TMNT, and let's work on some Sai practice. But first, just like all good Ninja Turtles, like my guy Leo over there, we gotta have fuel. And I've got the vegan pizza. And this is gonna be fantastic from the Mellow Mushroom here in town. Even vegan cheese, Daya cheese, loaded with veggies. It's gonna give us the Ninja Turtle fuel to do the side properly. Mm. In the comments below and the description below this video, I'm gonna put the Japanese word for Sai, the Chinese word for Sai, the pinyin for Sai, and the Chinese character for Sai. And when I first have students learn the Sai or the Cha, I tell them that the person who chooses to master this weapon must be extremely strong, extremely fast, extremely powerful, and a little bit crazy because it takes a little bit of a crazy person to put this tiny weapon up there when that gigantic sword, spear, or Quan Dao is coming down on top of you. So to begin our training with this weapon today, put both of your Sai on your hand like this. Hang them like Christmas ornaments from your hand. Put one finger out here, and I want you to drop into horse stance, get nice and low, and put the Sai in front right here. And hold it. And get the thighs flat. And I want to see right now, if your thighs are flat, if you can beat me. Let's go for at least a minute. If your thighs are not flat, I already win. Make sure those legs are flat, just like mine. If you want to get a side view, you guys can see what it looks like from the side. That's about 25 seconds so far. Arms straight, back straight, chest out, butt down. Hold it, deep breath. That's about 45 seconds, 15 more. I own you guys. Go lower. The good thing is no matter who wins, we both win. We're both getting conditioning. Five, four, three, two, one. From there, go to reverse bow stance. Sink it down low, reverse bow. Let's have the hands to the side right here. One leg straight, other leg bent. Look at how both my heels are on the ground. So my heel is flat. With no hands, let's come up and go the other side down. Nice and low reverse bow. I'm wearing my red colors. And you guys who love the Ninja Turtles know why. This is like a Jake Mace fan video for the TMNT. Raphael was red. Come on up again, no hands, all the way up, all right. And from there, we're gonna practice the flipping of the side. Keep it on the hands just like this, and I want you guys to flip from the inside to the outside, just like that. From the outside, back to the inside, very slowly. Inside, to the outside. Outside, back to the inside. Flip, back, flip, back, flip, back, flip, back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now put only one out, and we're gonna play the yin yang game. One out, one in. Back, forth, back, forth. E, R, San, S. Wu, Leo, Chi, Ba, Jiu, Shi, Pa. This way. This is purposeful. We flip the Sai to give ourselves defense. Also to change the weapon from a smacking knockout style weapon to a thrusting kill style weapon. 
So is your phaser on stun or is your phaser on kill? There are a few basic techniques I want you guys to be good at when using the Psy in a combat way. When your partner has a staff or a striking weapon and they come for the face, you need to have the Psy in the out position with the skewered end forward. And when the staff comes in high, we're going to clear it past our face this way. Again, when it comes in, clear it. Now, remember I told you that the Psy has to be done by a person who has physical abilities, strong legs, and extreme agility who's a little bit crazy. So we don't just stand here and take it, we have to block and move. Again, block and move. So in case we do miss the block, in case we miss it, we're still out of the way. So again, agility, block and move. Agility, block and move. Agility, block and move. Then the other hand comes in. When the thrust comes in low, move the body back to the small monkey and block it down. That way, in case I miss the block, I'm still moving away from it giving myself precious split seconds of time to react. When it comes in, step back, lock it down. Again, step back, lock it down. Again, lock it down. Again, lock it down. One more time. Again, again. And if he tries to add in a smack, I can block the first one, capture the second one in the open chamber, and notice how my finger is not in there. So I have an open chamber to lock that weapon, take it out of the way, and skewer and end him with the other hand. I'm gonna work on my leg conditioning and overall physical conditioning to enhance my psi ability. If you guys wanna have a psi like mine, click the link in the comments or the description below this video, and I'll see you guys back here for the next lesson, which is gonna be the sword.